If you're hearing this message, I wanted to thank you again for taking this job. I needed this position filled on very short notice, and your application couldn't have been more perfectly timed. My name is Henry, and like I informed you earlier, you will be receiving pre-recorded messages from me whenever you start a new shift. These messages will be used to help guide you through the week, or at least until you get your bearings. The building you're currently in is a storage facility which holds relics from a once popular children's pizzeria chain. The last pizzerias in this chain have been closed for a while now, and most of the objects in this building are even older than that, so this place has gone unwatched for quite some time. Regardless, all the equipment inside the building should still be suitably functional. Now, I'm afraid this job won't be as simple as sitting around in your office and checking cameras. This building houses several decommissioned animatronic animals that once entertained children in those aforementioned pizzerias. Despite all the money that was poured into them, they were scrapped due to perceived malfunctions. I had my gripes about this choice, but regardless, they have been stored here for a while now. For most of that time, they've been gathering dust. However, lately, I've been seeing signs of activity inside the building. I have reason to believe that someone has been tampering with the decommissioned animatronics and is attempting to reactivate them. Now, I don't think you'll have to worry about encountering whoever has been tampering with the animatronics during your shift. You should be more worried about the animatronics themselves. These animatronics were designed to freely walk around the building and entertain guests, and if someone has been actively tampering with them, it's likely that they'll be walking around the building during your shift. Now, I'm not sure what changes have been made to their AI, and that means I don't know how they'll react to the sight of you. With that in mind, we should prevent them from reaching you. You have a few tools at your disposal to help make it through your shift. You have been provided a camera panel that lets you remotely access all the building's cameras. Use these cameras to keep an eye on the animatronics and ensure none of them are moving. There is a separate set of cameras placed inside the air vents of the building. In your office, to your right, is a building status panel. You can use this to stay aware of the current status of the building's various systems. Most important is the building's power. Your power supply is limited, and is consumed by several systems in the building. Your cameras do not consume additional power, as they run on a separate, unrestricted supply. Once the building's power supply reaches critical levels, several systems will shut down, such as the building's lights. With this in mind, you have also been provided with a flashlight to help illuminate the dark corners of your office. Your flashlight has its own separate battery, which is obviously unaffected by the building's power. In addition, you have been provided with a mask of one of the pizzeria's mascots. The animatronics in this building were once outfitted with advanced facial recognition software. If they get close enough to see you, you should keep them from recognizing you as human. Now, I'm not sure if the facial recognition is still functional on each of the animatronics, and it's not impossible that the mask won't work on any of them. But regardless, if any of them have their old facial recognition software still in use, the mask should protect you from them. Assuming the mask doesn't work, you have a few other options to protect yourself. You have an air vent that runs through your office. In the event that something undesirable were to crawl through it, you can close its opening to your office using a button. Keeping this closed does drain power, so don't leave it shut longer than you need to. I know it's a fairly makeshift solution, but I only had so much time to install it before your first shift. This should be all the information you need for your first night. Remember, your shift ends at 6, and at that point, you are expected to leave. Do not stay any longer than you need to. I'll have another message for you recorded before your next shift. Good luck. End message.
congratulations on completing your first shift. However, if I am correct in my assumption that these animatronics are being actively tampered with, I'm afraid your job is likely to increase in difficulty as the week continues. I will do my best to slowly introduce you to your responsibilities here, so as not to overwhelm you. I'd like to take this moment to remind you about the functionality of this building's power. In the event that you encounter a building-wide power outage, do not assume that you are defenseless. Your cameras operate on a separate power supply, and will continue to function even if the building goes dark, although you may not be able to see much. Your flashlight's battery is not tied to any other system, and can therefore continue to be used to brighten up your office once the lights shut down. Your mask is, of course, unaffected by a loss of power. However, that does not mean that you should not worry if the building loses power. You will be unable to seal any openings in the building's ventilation system, including the one located in your office, and all currently sealed vents will open. Further. The three main cooling fans located in the vents, which maintain the building's temperature, will immediately shut down, and your office will begin to heat rapidly. Please keep this in mind. You will receive a more thorough explanation on the cooling fans tomorrow night. Good luck. End message.